From a school basement filling with water after record-breaking rainfall and a powerful mudslide washing away trees and boulders to a wall of water rushing down a shallow creek, here are four incredible flash floods that were caught on camera. Students in Dubois County, Indiana were getting ready to return to in-person classes after the pandemic forced them online in 2020. But right before the semester began, torrential rain battered the county in August of 2021. The storm caused severe flooding throughout the county, but seemed to focus all of its energy on the Northeast Dubois Middle School. According to Superintendent Bill Hokkezong, the area received almost seven inches of rain in one hour, which led to flash flooding like they had never seen before. It didn't take long before his school resembled the Titanic, and the kids were forced back online come September. At 16 times speed, you can see the water quickly pooling outside the school. It looks like there's a short incline leading up to the basketball court, which may have caused the water to pool against the entrance. The footage slows to one time speed in the basement, showing a calm pool of water, perhaps a few inches deep, judging by the doorframe. Then, like a scene from the Titanic, a massive surge of flood water rushes into the basement. The water is so powerful that it begins tearing through the wall. At 16 times speed, we watch the basement fill with water, which we can only describe as anxiety inducing. That basement water eventually spills into another hallway, and the entire school winds up underwater. By the flood's end, the lower part of the school had 11 feet of water in it. Apparently, it took the fire department until 10.30 at night to pump all the water out. Students finally returned on September 7th, but because of extensive damage to the cafeteria, their lunches had to be prepared off-site and bussed in. On June 21st of 2016, a huge thunderstorm passed over Washington, D.C., dropping an inch of rain in a short amount of time. Now, while that might not sound like much, it was enough to flood the Cleveland Park Metro Station and shut it down for a few hours. A time-lapse video from outside the entrance shows just how much an inch of rain really is. It only takes a minute for the water to begin rushing down the stairs and into the subway station. Whoever wore flip-flops today has the right idea. Everyone else might have to get new shoes. Soon, the stairs look like a water park ride as people continue about their day. Though, there's something funny about the people holding umbrellas while standing in ankle-deep water. The worst of it comes by 6.10, as we watch one woman standing on the stairs while playing on her phone. Then, like someone turned the faucet off, the water stops and life returns to normal. A spokesperson for the Metro said Cleveland Park got hit because it's at the bottom of a hill. Others blamed a new parking lot that paved over a grassy area and eliminated part of the drainage system. Between August 8th and 9th of 2018, heavy rainstorms led to severe flooding and landslides in Ordu Province, Turkey. Government officials said that 80 millimeters of rain caused the Cevizdere River to overflow, leading to flash flooding and mudslides across several districts. Unye, a small coastal town in northern Turkey, was among the hardest hit. Local footage captured the moment when a flood surge came roaring towards them, carrying all sorts of debris along with it. Our cameraman stands on the banks of what might be a shallow creek or valley and records the approaching flood water. The surge rushes past him and stretches for miles in the opposite direction. It carries sticks, stones, and other debris. Are we seeing a few plastic bottles in there too? Ahmed Chamyar, the mayor of Unye, said the flood caused four bridges to collapse, leaving 165 people waiting for rescue. 
The region's hazelnut farms also suffered severe damage days before the harvest season. Farmers lost tens of thousands of tons of product to flooding rivers, taking a massive bite out of the country's GDP. Makilala is a small town in the Philippine province of Cotabato. Located near the southern tip of the most southern Philippine island, its location makes Makilala highly susceptible to typhoons coming off the Pacific Ocean. Then again, most of the country winds up in the same boat. In October of 2020, Typhoon Pepito, also known as Typhoon Soto, rocked the island, causing flash floods and mudslides. One of Makilala's many small villages, or barangays as they're called, took the brunt of the damage as a violent mudslide rushed down the Bulatukan River, carrying logs and giant boulders. Villagers heard their neighbors screaming and ran outside to record the event. <laughs> It looks like the mudslide stopped at a logging company before arriving in Makilala. The mud gives the water this gross, gray color, and you can see it beginning to erode the land on the other side. People scream as they fear the village is about to be washed away, and you can hear car horns blaring from a distance. We don't blame the camera operator for their shaky hands. How calm would you be if your village was on the brink of being washed out to sea? Upstream, the flood caused severe damage to a bridge on Cotabato Road, the only bridge connecting the village to their neighbors. Cars were stranded on both sides, and local officials prevented people from walking near the damaged bridge, fearing it could collapse even more. Perhaps those were the cars we heard in the video. Imagine being the guy laying on their horn saying, come on, let's go, after a literal bridge collapse. By the time Pepito passed, it had affected over 1,500 people across 36 barangays. Estimates say the typhoon caused about $2.18 million in damages. Unfortunately, the Philippines would get hit with several Category 4 and 5 storms throughout the 2020 season. To see another video just like this one, be sure to click the link on screen now. With that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.